Hello and welcome to episode 199 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is the importance of taking action. Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lin Trin. Now, I wanted to do this podcast episode today because... We're closing in on episode 200. And I really wanted to share with you some of the biggest key pivotal moments inside of my life. And when I look back over the last two years of business, <laughs> you know, when I first got into business, I wanted freedom. And it was really funny. Um, when I first got into the business, I was like, okay, if I can make $100,000 a year doing nothing and it's passive and it's online, then I'm winning. That's the dream. I can go out to holidays. I can go to beaches. I can go in and uh and be at times square taking selfies i can be at hollywood i can be in paris i can be anywhere in the world that's going to give me enough money and as i set out to start this venture what i started to realize was that business was really hard like business is very very hard it's a very strategic game in terms of you either have to be at the forefront of the business you have to be the personality or you have to be the producer you have to be the strategist behind the scenes now i'm only telling you this because one of the biggest reasons why you know, my business has evolved over time and as I've gotten into the craft is I believe that everything happens for a reason now. And I didn't believe this at the time. I, at the time, I remember, it was 2015, I was sitting at home looking at my desk. I was frustrated because I had learnt the courses. I was reading a book by Jeff Walker, um, Launch, which was his book about product launches. And I sat there, okay, okay cool. I'm going to set everything up. And I'm going to launch and I'm going to make a bunch of cash and um, so be it. And I was sitting there and I was really frustrated because the week after I began my launch, I think I spent about $1,500 on ads and I made back $1,600. And for me, I was like, holy crap, this like doesn't work. This really doesn't work. And I think it was my fifth time I tried something very tactical and something inside of my mind switched. I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna focus on these tactics anymore. I'm not gonna focus on these things to get people to buy from me, sell stuff, launch all these video sales letters, write sales copy. I'm not going to do that because I was like, uh, I didn't know how to write sales copy. I didn't know how to do a video sales letter. I was trying to do a lot of things that I resisted. And there was just something inside of me that ticked. And inside of that moment, I decided that the best bet is to go out there and to be somebody that is worth following. This was me going out. And, and, you know, when you look at kind of my journey, and if you've been following me, if you've been listening to this podcast, you look at, you look at the journey that I've set on. I was stuck in the gym in 2014. And I've been a personal trainer for six years. You know, I love coaching clients. I love getting the results, but I wasn't going to be there anymore. And then I stepped out to then chase and pursue this dream and it's funny because i pursued this dream that didn't really exist i don't believe in passive income now because i see so many people you know attaining five thousand or ten thousand dollars a month it's not about getting there it's about keeping it it's about keeping it there and i don't believe because the barrier to enter is so low that if you can do it and it is that easy guess what anybody else can and right now you know, right, right in 2015, I had this switch and it was incredible because I just said, look, I, I'm going to become a person that is worth following. I'm going to become a guy that people listen to. I'm going to, and, and I didn't know where to even begin. And so I started doing a lot of stuff. I started going out into the dental marketing. I started up and, and managed took over four gyms inside of the CBD. I, I started and launched, you know, I joint ventured with a partner that I was in a mastermind with and we opened a Pilates and yoga show. I just did a ton of stuff. And I didn't know why I was doing these things. I did it because I was chasing the money because I was chasing the opportunity. And my biggest lesson <laughs> over the last 24 months, you know, the transition has been if you really take action and you go in deep. Action's going to allow you 
to get data. Action allows you to see the results. Action allows you to see what you like and what you don't like. And in that moment, I sat there and I took a lot of action and I just, fuck it, I'm going to do it. I don't know where to begin. I don't know how to be this guy that's you know, going to go all in, but I'm going to do everything. And I did everything. And it was exhausting. And it was straining me or straining my relationship. But guess what I learned from that? I learned what it is that I want to do. I learned what I didn't want to do. And I got better. I began to evolve. And the reasons why I'm telling you this is because there are so many people sitting on the edge, sitting on their bums. There are so many people complaining about you know, what they, they don't know what it is they want to do. <laughs> and I can tell you this, this is a conversation I have with 99.9% of people that read, Lynn, what should I do? What niche should I help? What should I, what should I be doing? I'm like, I can't tell you what it is that you should be doing. I only know what I, what I am doing because I know what I don't like, because I've done a lot of things. And everything in life happens for a reason. So if you're going through adversity right now because you are doing awesome, it's going to make you stronger. It's like the fire that's forging your sword. If you are going and you are moving through life right now and you haven't done anything, my biggest, biggest advice would be to go and do stuff to go out and open your eyes to opportunities, try to add value to somebody else's business if you want to get into consulting. Try and start a dropshipping company. If you want to go and do some e-commerce, if you want to be a coach, then you, know, you might want to go into another business and help them grow first, a coaching business. So you might go in and be an, be an apprentice. And why I'm saying this is because a lot of the times as personal trainers, I don't want you to confine yourself you know, the worst thing that you can do is wear a hat and confine yourself inside of a box and go, okay, well, I'm only a personal trainer. I should only be doing this. And that's the worst thing. That's, that's you just going, okay, I'm confining yourself to this box and you're never, ever going to grow. You, know, you were a personal trainer. It doesn't mean that you have to do it for the rest of your life. You can change parts. You can change careers. If you enjoy coaching, well, learn how to become an online coach. Learn how to coach people. Learn how to educate people. If you want to become a consultant, start consulting. Don't listen to the opinions of others because if you do, it's very infectious. People on social media, will, they're happy to call people out. But here's the reality. If you start consulting, you're going to get better at consulting. You might not charge for it. Don't start consulting without any results and expect to charge $5,000. Start consulting. Start at the very bottom and move your way up and and almost adopt this mastery mindset. And you're going to be relentless to getting results. And I guarantee that if you do that, your world is going to shift. So there's this one thing that I want to share with you. And, you know, this podcast is almost very reflective. But when a person says, what's been my biggest pivotal shift? It's been everything. But you know, it's been the lessons that I've learned that I don't want success to be easy. That's the truth. Because if it's easy... If it comes easily, it can go easily. You know, I, I really want success. And I understand that this success, the game of success and power and freedom is doing everything that most people are not willing to do. You know, and that's unfortunate because I truly believe that success is earned. You have to earn it. There is no free ride. There is no strategy. There is no tactic that's going to allow you to have freedom because you know that you have the power to go out there and get your freedom. When you earn your success, I truly believe that when you earn your success, no matter how rich, no matter how poor, you can start out with nothing. You can go out and you can create opportunity anywhere. And that gives you power, which then allows you to have freedom. So my biggest lesson is that freedom doesn't come from generating passive income. Freedom comes from the power Right, that you possess along the way. And you only get this power by doing. The power that you get along the way by doing the work in order for you to go out to become an invaluable person, an invaluable person that can add value. You can go out there and you are a person of high value. Now, if you can do that, that's when you're going to attain freedom. So I hope this was insightful. I, I'm, I'm trotting, I'm walking up and down here. I, I'm just trying to think how I can best serve you. But if I had to go back and I had to tell myself something, embrace, embrace the pain, take more action. 
more action leads to more results. You're going to be fine, okay? And everything will be fine. And in a year and in two years and whether it's five years, different people have different paths. And obviously, we can accelerate the path by modeling success, but it's getting to know your own path that's the most difficult. All right. So that being said, have an awesome, awesome day or night, wherever you are. And um, I'll see you at the next podcast. All right, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review and that way I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.